WREG in Memphis. This is News Channel 3 at 5. And breaking news at 5, exclusive video of a wanted man taken into police custody for an armed robbery that led to a Clarksdale officer being shot. We've been working to gather new information about Leandro Booker. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Claudia Barr. I'm Richard Ransom. The 20-year-old was already on the run from the Mississippi Department of Corrections. Now he's accused of robbing a convenience store with a man police say shot Corporal Derek Couch this weekend. WREG's Michael Quanders live in Clarksdale tonight. And Michael, how did this man and fly under the radar for three days. Well, Claudia and Richard, that's because police had no idea who he was. Well, that was until this morning when police released this picture of the man throwing up gang signs. With his head down and hands cuffed behind his back, exclusive video shows Leandro Booker being marched into the Clarksdale police station. That is over my door and seeing all these cars, I came my door. Teresa Lonk was here when U.S. Marshals and Clarksdale police flooded her block and snatched Booker from this home on Adams Street. And I said, and they didn't get that boy and bust him over standing right there. Police say Booker is seen in this video just moments before the corner grocery store was robbed at gunpoint Saturday night. The same night, his friend Johnny Robinson Jr. is accused of shooting Corporal Derek Couch in the face. What I want to say to him, good for him, because he had no business shooting him. Our thoughts and prayers are with, with Officer Couch. They are giving him commands and he is responding to those commands and making movements and that is very positive. But the injured cop has a long way to go. WREG uncovered Booker was out of jail on parole after a burglary and larceny conviction. He was also wanted on an outstanding warrant from the Mississippi Department of Corrections. Clarksdale police say he would likely still be out on the streets if it wasn't for other agencies pitching in to help. There's no way that we could have completed this task. We're a relatively small department trying to work two complex crime scenes. Well, whatever happened to the officer, whoever shot him, whichever one of them boys were, that they should go to prison. No, we are still waiting to learn when those two men will be in court, but we're told just moments ago that there will be a vigil for Officer Derek Couch this Thursday at 515 in front of City Hall here in Clarksdale. Reporting live tonight in Clarksdale, I'm Michael Quander, WREG News Channel 3. Thank you, Michael.